Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for, um, this is for the March 25th eclipse in Libra. We're gonna see what is going on for you. You have this official person card and this community card. Um, some of you could be standing out as an official person is kind of what I'm getting here. So, you know, if you if you are, um, you know, trying to take the lead in business or your career or anything like that, I feel, um, you know, that could be going on here for you for sure. Uh, I also feel that you could be meeting an official person like, you know, like a new boss or uh, it could even be for love as well. You could be meeting a person that becomes like where you become official is what I'm getting. Like I'm kind of, it, it's kind of popping into my head as more um, just uh, kind of representing s something else. I, I don't I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I'm at a loss for words, but it's almost like this is saying, it's not saying an official person, saying like you're becoming official. So, um, you know, I, I, and I think that could be taken multiple ways as well. I think the fact that, um, you know, kind of the message that I'm getting here is that you could be becoming official. So you could be, or an official, right? You could become be becoming an authority figure in business or career. Uh, I definitely have that popping into my head. And again, I think you could be meeting an official person as well, like I said, but who you become official with is what I keep getting. So there you go. This might have to do with love. And you could meet this person in your community. So I would get out in public to meet a person where, you know, that's where we should meet people, right? In public. You have this uh, Hierophant here. Hierophant could represent marriage. So again, if you want love, this could be a strong love connection that's coming in for you, uh, something that you strongly desire. Uh, the Hierophant can also represent, um, you know, manifesting something on earth. The, manif the Hierophant is a bridge between the heavens and the earth. So he can manifest things from heaven down to earth. And I feel for a lot of you that this could be saying that there's some sort of vision that you have for your life. And that's what you could be working towards. Um, the weird thing is, is that your crossing energy is the three of wands. The, th the crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you. And the Three of Wands basically says, it's time to get started. <laughs> three of Wands says, what are you waiting for? You know, the Three of Wands, he's looking out at those boats. Those boats kind of represent an opportunity for him to go on some sort of adventure, uh, but he has to go and get on those boats. And I definitely feel that there could be something where it's almost like you see the future. You know that something is gonna work out well for you and, or maybe you kind of sense it but you might not be making a move or you might not be taking the steps necessary to get on those boats. Some of you maybe are, but um, for most of you, I feel like you're kind of just, um, you know, observe in this position of observation really, or not wanting to move too quickly. And even in the area of what's on your mind, uh, you have the five of swords. The five of swords can represent kind of uh, like a conflict, you know, both cards, five of wands, five of swords, they both kind of represent a conflict. He has one. It, this conflict, he is the winner. He has won at all cost, uh, but he can also represent a separation. You know, the five of swords can come up when we're going through like a breakup or a separation, or uh, even when we like a job loss or something like that. But I kind of feel like this is you. Um, you know, it's like I get I get this feeling of wanting to know that you're going to win if you do something right. <laughs> so whatever this dream is that you have or whatever this opportunity is, it's almost like you're saying to yourself in your brain that you need to know that something is going to be successful before you actually do it, which is impossible. So, you know, again, I would definitely, I think it's worth taking a leap of faith. Even in the area of your foundation, you have the judgment card. The judgment card is your inner calling. So you are being called to do something I feel like you are being called to move in a new direction. Literally, you have the shift card here, which I'll read to you in a minute, and it says something about moving in a new direction. And the judgment card, these people are rising up out of these coffins. The coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin represents their new life. So they need to step in into their new life. You know, the whole point of this card is that they have to step out of the coffin into their new life, and that's where they will find success. So I do feel it's time for you to answer the call here, Aries, and you know, at the time of this eclipse, I think you know it could be a perfect time for you to eclipse one thing out of your life so that you can have something much better, uh, you know, something that's gonna be much more successful for you, right? Uh, in the area of the past, this is the energy you're moving past. You have the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune can represent a change in your fortunes. It can represent fate, destiny, you know, all those other things. It is almost like, you know, I do kind of have a weird message here. Like you are, you know, you are understanding that you can only control so much in your life. 
And, you know, there are certain things that are meant to happen. There are certain things that are not meant to happen. And I feel like you're more like rolling with the punches. I know that I know that doesn't sound sexy, but, you know, it, you know, I feel like you're more kind of in this. Maybe you've learned to be a little bit more go with the flow, so to speak, or you've kind of learned from the lessons that you've had in your life. I'm not getting anything Wheel of Fortune related. It, it's it's more saying to me, you know, the Wheel of Fortune represents your destiny, but it's your destiny how you see it. It is your personal vision for your life. So, you know, again, I feel like some of you are kind of seeing that sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. And, you know, you've kind of learned to be a little bit more flexible. And uh, I actually feel like this is a good thing, not a not a bad thing. Uh, you have this Medusa card that says jealousy leads to downfall, but then you have this maiden which says a new break, uh, new relationship blossoms. So you could be releasing like a past person and meeting a new person, of course. Uh, I feel like the past person was toxic and, you know, there could be something new stepping in for you. I feel like some of you feel like you were tricked by a past person as well, which could, I mean, that could be true. I, I, like, obviously, I don't know your situation, but I do feel if you were tricked, you could be seeing that. And again, the Wheel of Fortune could say that you're not going to fall for the same tricks again. You know, again, there's something here with this Wheel of Fortune about you recognizing patterns in your in your destiny, in your life, or you recognizing things that repeat, which again, when we see those things, that's a good thing because then we, then we can change it. And so I feel you are changing the things that repeat in your life, the things that keep you frozen like Medusa, and you're stepping into new opportunities, definitely could be moving towards new love. Uh, in the area of your very near future, you have the shift card that says taking your career in a totally different direction. I literally say this to you every single reading. I feel this for a lot of you. I don't think it's true that like every single last one of you is going to totally shift your career direction. But, um, you know, even this doesn't necessarily say you have to change your career. It could say that you're upgrading your career. It could be the same business. the same. You could be working at the same place, but there could be some sort of upgrade. It says have the courage to change course, continue to change, grow, change, and learn. Three of Wands needing to have the courage to get on those boats and go on an adventure, needing to have the courage to upgrade your skills and do something different. You have this activation card that says you're activating your soul's purpose and receiving a gift. Yeah, definitely. We see a ton of stuff about your purpose here. You have this, you have this uh, judgment card, you have a skunk card at the end that says know your worth, which is kind of like know your purpose, right? So I feel I feel that for a lot of you. It also says awakening your soul and tap into ancestral memories and inner wisdom. So a lot of you could definitely be tapping in at this time as well. You have the Six of Swords, which is moving on to calmer shores. Six of Swords is this woman and this child in this boat. They're completely moving forward here, and they're completely releasing their past, and they are letting go of everything. They have nothing but the clothing on their back, and they're completely moving on to the calmer shores. So I always say that Six of Swords, Six of Swords is kind of like a heavy energy. It's a good card, but you know they are completely starting over. <laughs> so I'm not saying that all of you are completely starting over, but some of you might feel like you're kind of you know, you're kind of starting from scratch. But really, the secret of the card is they're not starting from scratch. They have these swords right here in the front of the boat. And the swords kind of represent the lessons that they've learned, the things that they've been through, the challenges that they've experienced. And so you're bringing the knowledge and wisdom forward. So something, you know, I really feel that you're going to do something in way last time. And I feel like I've said this to you a million times in the past. It's almost as if you are ready to start something new in your life, but you could be thinking to yourself, oh, you know, the first time I did this, it took 10 years for me to build this business. But really, I think you're going to do something in record time because really you have done it before. <laughs> and you're bringing before all the knowledge and wisdom. You're not starting from scratch. You're starting from a place of knowledge and wisdom. You have this Six of Swords card here. The Six of Swords, or sorry, the uh, Knight of Swords, this is coming up in the area of your next few months. The Knight of Swords says no rushing, take your time if you're doing anything. And the Knight of Swords can be a hasty energy. I actually feel pretty good about this for you. Knight of Swords can represent momentum. And he basically says anything that you're doing, if it's working, double down on it. And the Wheel of Fortune says the same thing. If something isn't working, get rid of it. That's how we build momentum. We double down on the good stuff, get rid of the rest. Then we sp start speeding up and growing a lot faster. You have the uh, justice card. Justice is showing up in the area of your closest relationships. So justice is cause and effect. This uh, eclipse is happening in Libra. So I, I would definitely pay attention to cause and effect. Uh, this is showing up in your closest relationship. So for a lot of you, you this could be asking you to pay attention to the relationships that are providing for you. You, know, you provide for them, they provide for you. And so it's about kind of making sure that you uh, pay attention to what you're receiving from your relationships. But this could also be all other areas of your life. Like, yes, it's showing up in this area of your closest relationships, but I kind of feel that this is encouraging you to look at 
all of you know your whole entire life and make sure that what you invest in is also investing back in you, is also giving to you. I would pay attention to that. In the area of your future feelings, you have the King of Swords. Remember what we said about authority here becoming official? The King of Swords is the card of knowledge and wisdom. He has the most knowledge and wisdom out of all the kings. So you are definitely could be becoming an authority or you could be becoming a mentor or a guide for people. And this is probably in some area of your life that you are very knowledgeable in. Uh, this could also be law and order, by the way. You have the judgment card, justice card, king of swords. You know, putting all these together to me can represent uh, law and order. So if you're dealing with something legal or um, some other type of matter, this could say that you are getting some justice or judgment or karma. Uh, but really, I feel this could be you becoming an official person. I also do feel that you could be attracting a person like this. You know, it could be an air sign. Lib you have Libra here. <laughs> it could be, a, you have Aquarius as well with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, but, you know, it could be any sign. It could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo with the uh, Wheel of Fortune as well. Um, but wh whatever it is, doesn't matter. I think that you could be attracting a person who is an official person as well. It's like, you, this could be like power couple type thing. We, we haven't even clarified yet, but maybe when we clarify, we'll see that. Um, so, but I get that kind of vibe of like an official, you attracting an official person. And there you go. Uh, you have the hangman as your outcome. Hangman uh, can represent no movement. And so, you know, it, it can say that they're, that you're not making moves or that you're not moving forward. But really the hangman is a card of enlightenment. So I feel that you could be gaining, you know, his head is glowing here. And so you could be gaining a lot of enlightenment in, in your life, or you could be gaining a new under, uh, uh, you know, understanding on things that are important to you is what I'm trying to spit out here. So, um, you know, that's, that's what I get there. You have the skunk spirit it says, know your worth. You have a squirrel that says, believe in yourself. They both that both basically say the same thing. <laughs> so it's definitely time for you to believe in yourself and believe that you're uh, capable of doing something. Again, I think the challenge for you is that, um, you know, what, what you have been doing is training for a long time. So, you know, that's how I always see Aries readings is that you've been learning how to do something for a long time, like in, in training. It's almost like life it has itself has been college for you and now you're graduating and you it, this graduation is going to take you to new places i think that you it's almost like your brain is making it seem like it's a lot of work you know i think that your brain is telling you that whatever you're about to do is going to be a lot of effort or a lot of work here you know this whole part of the reading right here uh, but really it's not i think it's going to be a lot easier than you think with the Three of Wands and the Hierophant, you have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is the only card in the tarot that has an eclipse on it. So there's an eclipse going on right here and uh, definitely comes up during eclipses a lot. So this is an eclipse reading. Definitely could be walking away from things that no longer serve you and walking towards, you know, hopefully fulfillment. We don't really know what he's walking towards uh, on the Eight of Cups. You could say the Nine of Cups, but um, we actually don't really know that. That is not like the meaning of the card. Hopefully he's walking towards the Nine of Cups, right? Really, the whole point of the Eight of Cups is that he's walking away from something that is not right, you know, in his life. It, it's like if he were to accept these Eight Cups into his life, his life wouldn't be horrible, but he would definitely be settling. He would definitely be receiving less than he deserves. So he has to walk away from something so that he can get everything he deserves so that he can live at his full potential. You know, I hear from a lot of people where they say like, I'm working and working and working on my business and I'm not making more money. And I'm like, well, maybe you're doing the wrong thing, right? <laughs> maybe the universe has other plans for you that, that you're thinking about and you need to go do something else. Or same thing in relationships. Like people always say like, oh, this person won't commit to me. They won't marry me. And it's like, well, I don't believe in ultimatums. I think it's a terrible idea. I see all these people th on, online talking about like giving marriage ultimatums. I'm like, wow, that's a that's a great start to your marriage, right? A, an ultimatum that that will ne definitely work, right? Good luck with that. You know, see you on Dr. Phil in like 10 years. But uh, what I would say here is that, um, again, I don't think we should have to make those ultimatums. There is a person there or a situation in general that's right for you right now. We don't have to be in these situations where we try to force things to happen. And I, that's what I'm getting here from the whole entire reading, Aries, is I feel like the whole reading is saying that there is something that's right for you right now in love and business and career, whatever you're trying to improve. And so there's no reason to settle. As I always say, this doesn't, I'm, I'm not suggesting you just leave a person, right? If, if you've been with them a week and they're not marrying you, that's ridiculous, right? We have to do things in, you know, in context, of course. And, you know, I also think we should talk to people as well. You could talk to a person and say, hey, you know, my, my dream is to get married. And I totally understand if you don't want to get married, but I would like to know that so that I can move on, right? That is perfectly acceptable. And, and maybe it'll wake them up, right? 
with the five, but we have to communicate. We can't, people are not mind readers, right? With the five of swords, I'm better than Dr. Phil, by the way. With the five of swords, you have the emperor. The emperor is you showing up here. You are in control of your thoughts. You are in control of your victories. So I feel that some of you are already thinking about walking away from something, you know, after my Dr. Phil rant there, I feel that you are thinking about walking away from something in your life and taking control. This could be why you are becoming official, <laughs> an official person. When we take control of our life and we say, no, I'm not gonna settle, I'm, gonna, I'm going to go get the thing that I know is right for me right now, then we get it. So, you know, I think you're taking control in a good way. Now with the judgment card, you have the marriage card, the four of wands. So I was getting something about marriage here. I'm not saying that you're leaving a marriage. I'm just saying, you know, and you know, if you're in a marriage, this is actually a pretty good reading, but um, you know, some of you could be wanting to get married or you could be hoping to find a person to commit to. I actually feel like you could be waking up to a person as in you could be becoming aware because it's coming up with the judgment card. It, like you could be becoming aware of a person that you're attracted to or, you know, you could be seeing the potential in a person. And I, again, I, you know, not to go on another rant here, but I do not think we should date off of potential because potential doesn't exist. Either they do or they don't. And same thing goes for you. Either you do or you don't. But what I would say here, is again, I kind of feel like you're seeing a person, you're like, oh, this has potential. And you could be exploring a new person uh, with this four wands energy. I don't really get marriage here, like is what I'm saying. Like, could there be marriage in the future? Sure, but I feel this is saying that you're exploring the potential of a person. With the uh, Wheel of Fortune, you have the Two Wands. I feel pretty good about this. Two Wands is taking the lead and it's a card of progress as well. It's almost like something happened in your past where you're like, I think you something has happened recently maybe over the last year or so, where you're kind of like, okay, um, you know, I, I really need to get going. <laughs> it's like something has woken you up here. There's been a wake-up call or you've been through something that has kind of brought you back to a certain reality. And I almost get this energy of saying, of you saying, like, I really need to see what's out there. You know, he's standing on a, in his castle. He's looking out in front of him, but he has the whole world in his hands. It's like he he is looking out in front of him. He's not looking at the world. So, you know, he needs to realize that he has a whole world in his hands. There's there's more than what meets the eye. And I kind of feel that for you, that there's more to your life than what meets the eye. And with the Six of Swords, you have the um, Four of Cups here. Four of Cups is like past disappointments. Um, you know, again, I feel like some of you could be moving away from a disappointing situation. A lot of people get the Four of Cups nowadays. And I, as I always say, the Four of Cups to me, kind of represents uh, baking a cake. You know, it's like he he has manifested the flour, the sugar, the eggs in front of him. He just needs to put it all together and pop it in the oven. And so that's what I feel like you need to do is like, you need to mix all the ingredients together and pop it in the oven. With the Knight of Swords, you have the uh, Six of Swords, Six of Swords moving on to calmer shores. So I feel for a lot of you that you could be moving on to calmer shores here. Uh, you have the Six of Swords twice. I also feel there's a lot of momentum. The other thing that I would say is, again, when we get rid of things from our life that just aren't right, things speed up, right? Things get faster. Things, um, you know, progress for us much quicker. You know, perfect example, I, I quit drinking almost a year and a half ago now, almost. And, um, you know, I wasn't a big drinker to begin with, but it is six o'clock in the morning and I'm already two readings deep, right? When I, when I used to drink, I used to sleep till like, I don't know, 8.30 or something like that, right? <laughs> and so since I've quit, I've started, wake, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning nowadays. I get to work right away, right? And I'm, so, I'm like a thousand times more productive. I feel a thousand times better. So again, I'm not, I'm not telling you to quit drinking, right? Uh, but what I am saying, uh, you can do whatever you want. You're an adult. But what I am saying is that's just like one example. I, I like I, Since that has happened, I have removed so many other things that create friction in my life and things have really speed up. It like totally changed my life. Just that, that one little thing, right? And I kind of see that here for you where I'm not saying you're quitting drinking, but what I am saying is, you know, you could be removing friction. Like when you let go of things that no longer serve you, then life speeds up, but in a good way. Like you start building more momentum. You start having more time. You start, um, you know, doing more things in your life. Uh, with the Justice card, you have the Five of Cups. Five of Cups can be disappointments, but, or regrets. And I do feel like some of you maybe, I, I wouldn't say you regret a relationship, but, you know, if you had this Medusa person here in your life, like a jealous person or some, a person, maybe you do have a person that you regret. Again, I do feel like there's something much better uh, coming in for you in love. Again, it's really good um, love year for you here, Aries. With the King of Swords, you have the Page of Wands. 
Page of Wands is about going on an adventure. The other interesting thing I'm getting here is like if you're meeting a new person, I feel like this person, it's like you feel much more space with with this person, which is interesting. That's like how it's popping into my head here. I'm not saying that you're gonna be out there, you know, dating a bunch of people with it with this person. Like I'm not saying this is like some sort like space as in they let you go date a bunch of people. Maybe, maybe if that's what you're into, I'm not here to judge. But um what I'm saying is like I feel like you feel free with this person, like in the best way possible. And I, and I also feel that that makes you want to be with the person more because they're, they're not like trying to suffocate you or, you know, they're not trying to, um, you know, it's like they're not trying to lock you down, you know, in a more like toxic way. I hope that makes sense. But, you know, that's definitely the feeling I get there. With the hangman, you have the king of cups. Could be a Pisces for some of you. I don't know. I'm a Pisces. Pisces is always into Aries. Every single person I'm ever attracted to is an Aries. So there you go. T totally. I don't know. Pisces are little creeps, like I like I always say to you, Aries. So who who the hell knows? But definitely could be a water sign. Could be any sign. You have every single thing here. Uh, the king of cups could also say that you are more tapped into your emotions and or you are um, you know kind of exploring your emotions, which could be a good thing. Uh, you have this butterfly card. It says a change for the better. There you go. Definitely improvements coming in for you. Again, this is a positive eclipse. There are, you know, it is very well aspected. Um, the April eclipse is very positive as far as I'm concerned as well. So, you know, I think that this is a good part of eclipse season that we're entering into. So, you know, there you go. Uh, you you can create positive change right now. You have this handshake. It says a meeting with a stranger could be important. Now, I think this is true for everyone. I have been encouraging people to explore, meet new people, you know, all that other stuff, because that's how we're going to get better opportunity in life. Uh, you have this turkey. It says someone is behaving stupidly. I would be careful of any turkeys in your life for sure. <laughs> uh, you have this goldfish. It says increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Love it. Definitely could be an increase in material wealth. And you have this table, it says hard work ahead. Yeah, I feel like it's hard work, but it's work that you wanna do. So again, if you're changing your career, which the whole entire reading kind of talks about, then this is gonna be positive for you. So it uh, looks really, really good. But this is a really good reading, I like it. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.